Tell us about your characters, Angel and Mitch, and what attracted you to these roles. Um, what attracted me to the role of Angel was um, what, the, the thing that we actually can't talk about, which is the complexity and the unraveling, as you see, of this guy, um, and that he's a man doing his job and finds himself in these weird situations, which uh, was interesting for me to um, attempt to do, you know, to, to go into, because he finds himself in these very dark worlds, you know, where he begins and where he ends. It's, it's, you know, it's a big 180, but, um, so yeah, for me that is, you know, and the, and the cast and, you know, the, the great people, you know, Charlton and I worked together before, I, you know, I've, you know, so all those things help you make a decision. What attracted me to the character of Mitch was the sort of what I considered to be the innate comedic potential in a character that used to be a serious kind of badass mercenary special forces dude has found like his spiritual center and is trying to turn his life around and is out helping people in Haiti and trying to do good in the world and then gets dragged back into like the mess that is trying to leave behind. I, <laughs> I thought it'd be a, 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 a great place to find really fun co comedic moments and comedic material and and it was I, I describe him as like an alcoholic who doesn't want to go back into the bar but does <laughs> and how did you both prepare for these roles man you know uh did a lot of the prep work at, at home and you you know you make your choices and then old, but really this was the environment informed a great deal you know we made up some stuff as we went along you know, there's, 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 scene, there's stuff I shot that was not in the script where we just sort of pieces. So you, you, it's tough to prepare for that, but if you leave yourself open and loose, I think the, the, the world will deliver you, you know, if you, and don't, without making a meal out of it. You know what I mean? You, you, you got to just play it all for real, you know? Yeah, my preparation was like I grew the beard and went to Mexico, and that's, just, <laughs> that's what I needed, <laughs> you know? Um, it's like, like Joel, like, like, like Joel says, it's, uh, um, it's, it's sort of s w in a place like that, in a film that's set in Mexico, it's like, it's, it's, you feel it, you, you, the, the, the Mexico's a character in the film, basically, and it's sort of, it's, uh, it's easy to sort of just go there and, 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 and just run with it. And what themes would you say this film explores? For me... You know, the most uh, important thing about the film for me is just that it's fun, that it's a good time and it's a good laugh. But I do think there's a lot of um, sort of social commentary and kind of heart under there. And it's kind of, you know, issues around the American dream and, and human greed and, um, and uh, uh, how easily power corrupts people. And, you know, there's a, there's a lot of things you can read into it. But really, at the end of the day, it's for me, it's just a fun, it's a, it's a, it's a movie to go and, you know, take your friends and go and have a release and go and have a laugh at, you know, because the world's going a little bit crazy as it is right now anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what themes do I think the film expo uh, explores? Um, I think, you know, Schalter hit a lot of them, I think, you know, greed and, and corruption and, and, and uh, you watching f uh, you know, who really is your friend and who's not your friend and, and is, 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 you know. Loyalty. <laughs> Loyal, there you go, loyalty. <laughs> yeah. And things aren't what you think they are yeah. sometimes, you know what yeah. I mean? And, and then you have, you know, you know, the Harry and Amanda story, they're, 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 just, they're beautiful. Love. And they're, yeah, love and like, so it's, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, all that stuff is in there and then, and then it's funny, you know. And tell us about the directorial style and what it was like working with Nash. Nash is a, a wonderful collaborator in the sense that he really lets you go with the character um and and uh you know for me it was it was a real pleasure because you don't get a huge amount of opportunity on movies to improvise and nash really let myself and david uh, do a lot of that in the scenes that we had together and um it's a it's it's uh, it's a real blessing for, for an actor to get somebody who who trusts you to to run with a role you know work work with i think nash did something very smart, you know. I think he set up great situations, and then he sort of he let his actors run, and he and when he had to 
corral you. He corralled you, but you know he he let it unfold. He let he let people improvise, which is always great. Improvising is great. I try to do it in every movie, even when people like it or they don't like it, um, because you don't have the the benefit of rehearsing something like you would a play. So it's 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 dead on you in two takes. So you have to, mm. you know, how does this fit in my mouth? I got to change the words. I'm like, well, you know, it's like, yeah, it's, I'm sorry. This is what how it keeps it's, it real and right, spontaneous. It keeps it spontaneous. And you surprise and real. each other. I love yeah. it when actors right. Like right. You yeah. surprise the other actor. Yeah. Like, oh, what you you're helping that? each other the whole way. That's it. It's yeah. right. You're the mm. act, two actors working. Like, mm. roll up your sleeve. You get yeah. in there and you hash yeah. it out. You know yeah. what I mean? So Nash allowed that to happen, and that's a great thing when when somebody, you know. Allows it to unfold. And in that same vein, what was it like working with David and Charlize and the cast in general? I mean, for me, David's obviously known for much more serious roles, and I think he's going to be uh, a, a real delight for audiences. I certainly hope people find his character as funny as I do. I, I, I don't think I've ever laughed as much in any movie I've done working with somebody as I did to, to the scenes that I did with David. Um, it's just a very funny character in very very funny situations, and um, I think uh, I, I think audiences are in for a, in for a treat to see a, a character that's this unique in a Hollywood film. I mean, he's playing a Nigerian character with like an amazing sort of heart and soul, and um, uh, it's it's just something something original and, and, and fresh. Working with David, I mean, it, most of my stuff is with him, really. So uh, he's. First of all, one of the nicest people you'll ever meet, and an incredibly skilled performer. Mm. So you you know it's it's you have a formidable what's coming at you. What's you know it, it's a great flow with him, and and it just Jesus, what a lovely guy. Yeah, he's just an outstanding yeah. guy. And then uh, last question, real quick, what uh, were some favorite moments or the favorite moment from the film, and what can audiences expect? Oh man, to me there's so many fun moments. I mean, I, I particularly like some of the some of the lines that Charlize comes up with, which I won't, that her character has, you know, which is just horribly horribly inappropriate, but just just funny to hear coming from her, you know, that she's kind of been uh, sort of took the gloves off and just did, you know, a crazy character like this. Um, so so that's you know I, I I really that's one aspect of the film that I that I really enjoy. Yeah, I, I think uh, it's actually true because she says a lot of things that maybe yeah. people are thinking but they don't say. But she yeah. says them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just fantastic. Yeah. I love when I love when somebody does that. Um, yeah, what can they expect from the film? I don't know. Uh, I hope they I hope they have a great time. I mean, it's it's a fun it's a fun jam, you know. Yeah, I think you can expect to have a good laugh. That's for sure. It's a very funny film, and um, there's some depth and meaning in it if you want to take that away. But. Above all else, it's just a good time at the movies and a good laugh.